Why do people get heart failure? Well, heart failure is where the heart doesn't do a good enough job pumping out blood. Many reasons for that. Number one, it could be that the blood vessels supplying the heart don't give the heart muscle enough nourishment. That's coronary artery disease. And sometimes people's heart don't work well because the heart muscle doesn't get nourishment. Sometimes the heart valves become damaged. The aortic valve or the mitral valve become damaged and doesn't let the heart pump out enough good blood. Sometimes it's the heart muscle itself. Sometimes it gets weak. We call it a myocardiopathy. Big, long medical word just means the heart muscle is sort of squishy rather than strong. Or we get myocarditis. We get inflammation of the heart muscle itself. That is a sick heart muscle and it doesn't pump good. There's a lining on the outside of the heart called the pericardium. If the pericardium gets inflamed and scars down, then the heart can't really fill up with blood and we get heart failure again with that. Right-sided heart failure, it could be that the side of the heart that pumps blood to the lungs, if there's something going wrong in the lungs, emphysema, high blood pressure in the lungs, then the right side of the heart gets failure and we actually get fluid in the belly and our feet get real swollen. Symptoms of heart failure, shortness of breath, fatigue with act fatigue, just can't start doing adequate exercise, chest pain, chest discomfort. If you have those symptoms, see your doctor. Your doctor knows how to work up with electrocardiograms. We now have ultrasounds. We can tell how good that heart pump is doing. If you're having symptoms of heart disease, see your doctor. He'll get the studies and guide you toward improvement.